Lunch viewer, Chef Kimberly here with you today. I am with the brand ambassador chef, Chef Sharon. Hi, welcome. Hi. Oh no, welcome me, because I'm in your showroom. Hi, welcome. Yes. Well, our showroom is your showroom. Yes, right. Oh, That's thank right. you. So today we are at the Middle V showroom in Irvine, California. Today we're cooking a holiday inspired menu, which is including this beautiful blueberry galette that you uh, came up with, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes. So um, we're going to be using the Napoli oven, which is not just a pizza oven. It's an oven that you could bake in, grill yes. in, roast in. So it's very, very versatile. Yes. So I have the Napoli oven at about 350 degrees, which is your standard baking. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to do a very uh, quick and easy blueberry galette. And if you know what a galette is, you'll know that it's puff pastry that's just sort of a rough fold. Mm -hmm. So if you struggle with making pie crust, which so many people do, yes. and it gives people anxiety, it does. the answer to that is a rustic galette. So you can buy your puff pastry already done, keep it nice and chilled. I'm going to use the fresh uh, blueberries. You certainly can use frozen blueberries, but fresh blueberries either way mm -hmm. and one of the techniques that I use to sort of ensure that I have a thick enough jellified filling when yes. I make pie because that's always like the, the, the kind of like, yeah the risk the part of the anxiety right is like right? is it going to sit am is I going to cut into set? this and it's just going to fall over the place yeah is it going to be like a runny mess or yes. is it going to be like a goopy gelatinous yes beautiful delicious right <laughs> <laughs> all the words yes so what I do is I'm going to take, and I have some pre-measured ingredients, and we're going to post a recipe, correct? Yes. There yes. will be a recipe. There will okay. be a recipe. So I have a half a cup of flour. I have three quarters of a cup of sugar. Um, in, my, in your saucepan, you're going to add your three quarters of a cup of sugar, which is half the sugar that we're going to use total, mm -hmm. and half the blueberries that we're using total. I have my berries coated in sugar. I'm going to add the juice of a lemon or excuse me, the juice of half of a lemon, which is about a tablespoon and a half of juice. And then when you're baking, and especially when you're baking sweets, you always want to use just like a pinch of salt that helps mm -hmm. to bring out the sweetness, mm -hmm. right? That's a really beautiful color already. <laughs> I know, isn't that a pretty color? And then I like cinnamon in most of my pies. I'm going to just do a rough measure of a half of a teaspoon, a teaspoon of vanilla. Now I'm going to cook this down just mm -hmm. like I did here. You can just see how, how it's kind of thick and goopy. Yes. And as it cooks down for 10 minutes on low heat, and I could, I did this here earlier or over a flame. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you have a burner, a link side burner, you can use that or use it right on top of your griddle. That's right. So you can technically do all of this outside. You can do everything <laughs> outside. Yeah. So this was cooked down for 10 minutes. And after that 10 minutes is when I'm going to fold in the rest of the blueberries and the flour. Okay. So I'm going to coat these berries in the flour, toss it in, toss it together. And then you're looking for and consistency. I'm, for that consistency. Way. And then here's that other three quarters cup of sugar. I almost forgot that. Part <laughs> of me. It's my stage fright. <laughs> it's okay. Sometimes I always do that too. Like, yeah. or, I've, or like if I'm doing events or something and I plan on putting something on a plate and I'm so busy, sometimes I just forget. <laughs> right. Like, what am I missing yeah, here? Yeah, I'm missing something. That's so, okay. We're only human. <laughs> exactly. So the rest of the berries is now tossed with the rest of the, the second portion of sugar and the flour. Mm -hmm. That's going to get added to the saucepan and finished for another 10 minutes of cooking. And that's where I have that nice, thick, gelatinous mixture that I yeah. know is going to set up in the galette. Yes. So I'll typically chill this down for a couple of hours before I start the galette. Yes. And this has been chilling for at least an hour. So I think we're good, to, we're go. good to go. I'll set this to the side. And this is where you can see, like it takes pie baking to it's like next level is there's no stress. And this is what makes it like nice and easy is I'm just going to do a fold and a fold and a fold and a fold and a fold. I love glitz. I love the rustic look. I and one more fold. And that is so rustic. 
Now, I personally love texture, so I want to have some of that crunchy sugar on the okay, top. Okay, yeah, me too. Yeah, More sugar, the better. Like <laughs> yeah. Crunchy extra. Mm -hmm. So I have a little bit of an egg wash. And this is one egg beaten with one tablespoon of heavy cream. This is optional, but this will make the top of the galette a little shiny. Mm -hmm. And it'll also help that crunchy sugar that I like on the top. To kind of stick to, to it, stick right? stick to it. So it's now brushed with that little bit of an egg wash. And then I have some, if you don't have sanding sugar, which I don't always have sanding sugar, and that's the really uh, chunky white mm -hmm. clear crystals sometimes. That you'll see like on danishes and things on like danishes, that. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes at a cake decorating store, which I never get around to getting to, <laughs> but it's sometimes hard to find. So I'll use the sugar in the raw. Mm -hmm. And it has just a little bit of the molasses left in the sugar, but not much. But it has that crunchy... Kind of the thick, coarse yeah. sugar that we're looking for, right? Yeah, that coarse texture that... I just like that extra crunch. So this is going to go right into the Napoli oven. And I'm going to bake this on the floor of the oven. Yeah, so you don't have to use a tray. You could bake it directly on the floor of the oven. And that is also going to help it have that really nice crust on the bottom. Absolutely. All right, I'm going to see if I can just lift this in. So it's good to have your puff pastry nice and cold, right? Yes, yes. you want to keep all your ingredients really cold so it'll keep its shape and form as long as possible. Okay. So let's go in. I'm excited for this. I love dessert. <laughs> and I'm going to take the door off the Napoli just to make it a little easier to handle. right there and I want to maintain my heat so I'm going to go back on with the door okay so we're looking for about 30 to 40 minutes okay yeah we want that filling to get nice and cooked and the more it cooks the thicker it will get correct yes then you want that nice browning on the bottom on the top all right chef you mentioned this earlier that you could not only bake but you could do all other kinds of stuff on this pizza oven i always feel bad when i call it a pizza oven because it is not just a pizza oven we've i've literally done steaks in it what are some of the things that you've done I have done not only baking, I have done a ton of pizza in this yes. oven. I'm sort of a sourdough bread girl. Yeah. So pizza is really important to me and it makes really great pizza. Um, gosh, we have done uh, roasting chickens, mm. um, tons of roasted veg. Uh, I feel like it'll it like roast your veg really quickly. So you'll have that really nice crunch to it still. And then that nice browning on it. Yeah, right? really good caramelization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We've done so many things in here. Yeah. I can't even remember. I know. I, I mean, I do most of the time. I'll do my meats in my in my ovens. I'll do like steaks. I'll do like chicken, like you mentioned. Fish is great. Everything, honestly. If you're mm -hmm. out here, I would, I would think I would. I'd rather uh, roast my veggies in there than grill them. Oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> it comes out so nice. So many things you could do. Well, we have about 30 minutes. We're gonna come back once our um, galette is done. It's gonna be delicious. I'm so excited. I'm excited too. <laughs> Okay guys, I pulled the galette out of our Napoli oven and look at this. I mean, it popped up so high. It did, I think yeah. I'm in love. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's just beautiful. And then the caramelized sugar that on the just top. That looks amazing. And yeah. as this cools, I don't know if you can see the steam, but it's it is. Yeah, it is coming out. It's like a little volcano. It is. You wouldn't want to cut into this now. You're going to want to wait a while, like at least yes. an hour. Yeah, you want to let it set a little bit, because even if it, it is pretty much set right now, but since it is hot, you will have some of that liquid running out. But if you let it just kind of sit at room temperature for an hour, you're going to have that really nice solid kind of when you cut into gelatinous look to it. And this, I mean, this, I've never seen puff pastry puff up like this. Right, I, I think high? it was the oven. <laughs> I think it is the oven, because in the traditional oven, it does never puffs up this no. high. So we're pretty impressed with this. We're going to see how it tastes later. I'm sure it tastes delicious. When it's cool. <laughs> and again, letting your pies and your galettes mm. and your tarts at least cool for one hour to set up. If mm. you cut into a pie when it's warm, 
It'll it'll just, actually never set up. Even the rest oh. of the pie won't set. You'll break that bond. It's kind oh, of a wow. weird thing. Wow, that's that's so. interesting. I didn't even I learned something new today. Yeah. Look at that. That's cool. <laughs> so in an hour at least. So yeah, and then we're gonna top it with a little. The top. Yeah, I think I'll so. I'll let you do the honors. Thank you. This is gonna be so nice. And then what we're gonna do once it's cooled down, we're gonna cut into it and we're gonna head and top it with some vanilla ice cream because why not? Right? Why not have, add some vanilla ice cream? A warm galette with amazing. berries. Yes, and vanilla and ice, ice cream. cream. Mm. I think I'm the most excited for this dish. Like me I'm ready to, to jump in. If chef wasn't here to stop me, I probably would have cut right. into it already <laughs> and taken a bite. <laughs> All right, so for our viewers, if you'd like to see more videos like this in our holiday series and our Lynx Outdoor Kitchen, please visit our YouTube channel or go to perch.com to find the showroom nearest you. Chef Sharon, thank you so much for having me here today. Thank you, Chef Kim. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Yes, and please come stop by and visit, visit you, right? They could come on by and check out the showroom. Absolutely. Please come by Middleby Showroom in Irvine, California. Thank you for watching, everyone. Thank you.